Hi, hello, welcome to Mass Guru channel. In this video, I am going to explain exercise 15.6. Uh, third question. Third question is find the sum of integers which are divisible by 2 and 3 from 1 to 50. Okay. So here, see num numbers which are divisible by 2 and 3 which are that is which are divisible by 6 from 1 to 50 okay so here numbers given numbers divisible by 6 means 6 multiples you can take right now sum of the numbers 6 plus 12 plus 18 plus up to 48 why because up to 50 only now below 50 we should take now from these numbers you can take 6 common now remaining 6 ones are 6 6 twos are 12 up to 6 eights are 48 now 6 into here sum of uh, n terms n is equal to 8 so n into n plus 1 by 2 now 6 into here 8 into 8 plus 1 by 2 okay here 2 ones are 2 threes are so 3 into 8 into 9 so okay if you multiply you will get 216 right next uh, see next question this one over this one also over now this one i am going to explain so, uh, rahul's father wants to deposit some amount of money every year on the day of rahul's birthday on his first birthday 100 on his second birthday 300 third birthday 600 fourth birthday 1000 and so on what is the amount deposited by his father on Rahul's 15th birthday. Okay. Very simple, right? See, uh, birthday wise, first birthday 100, second birthday 300, third birthday 600. Likewise, 15th birthday means once look at here, 200, 200 here, here 300, here 400. Okay. Likewise, one, one, uh, 100 is increasing now. So up to 400, um, 40, 14th birthday, 10,500, 15th birthday, 12,000 will come. So Rahul's father deposit on every year. So those all uh, you can uh, take, okay, the amount deposits on 15th birthday. So 10,500 plus 1,500, 12,000. So 12,000 you should uh, get the answer. His father deposit on 15th birthday 12,000 rupees. Okay. Next question. Ninth. Find the sum of integers from 1 to 100 which are divisible by 2 or 5. Okay. So, once look at here. Sum of the numbers which are divisible by 2 from 1 to 100. First, uh, sum of uh, numbers divisible by 2 first we should take. So, two multiples we should take. Two take common. So, up to 50. Two fifty is 100. Two ones are two. Two twos are four. Likewise. So, now sum of n terms formula. n is equal to 50. So, 2 into 50 into 50 plus 1 by 2. Now, 2, 2 will get cancelled. 50 into 51. So, if you multiply, you will get this number. 2550. Okay. Now, sum of numbers which are divisible by 5 from 1 to 100. Okay, so now 5 plus 10 plus up to 100. Now 5 we should take common. 5 ones are 5 twos are up to 5 twenties are 100. Okay, n is equal to 20. Now 5 into 20 into 20 plus 1 by 2. 2 ones are 2 tens are 20. Okay, now 5 into 10 into 20 plus 1, 21. Now if you multiply these all, you will get 1000. 50 okay next these numbers are divisible by 2 now next uh, sum of the numbers which are divisible by both 2 and 5 so if you add these two numbers you will get 3600 next sum of numbers which are divisible by 2 or 5 from 1 to 100 2 or 5 anyone okay so 2 5 is a 10 now so we can take multiples of 10 
10, 20, 30, 40 up to 100. Now 10 can take common. Now 10 ones are 10 twos are up to 10 tens are 100. So 10 into here 10 n is equal to 10 last term. So 10 into 10 plus 1 by 2. 2 ones are 2 pies are 5 into 10 into 11. So if you multiply this will get 550. Okay, sum of required numbers 3600 minus 550. Now if you subtract you will get 3050. Okay, you will get 3050. Next. Find the sum of integers from 11 to 2000 which are divisible by 3. Tenth last question. C. Sum of integers from 11 to 2000 which are divisible by 3. So those are sum of integers from 11 to 2000. Divisible, those are divisible by 3. So multiples of 3 we should take. So below 1000 we should take. So 3 take common from this. So 3 4s are 12. 3 5s are 15 up to um, 3 into 333. We'll get 999 right. Now 3. Here we want uh, um, from 11 to 1000 right. So below 11 we should subtract from this. So this um, 3 into 1 plus 2 plus up to triple 3 minus 3 into 1 plus 2 plus 3. Why? Because 3 ones are 3, 3 twos are 6, 3 threes are 9. So up to 9 we should uh, subtract. Okay. So 9, 9 plus 9 you can subtract. Why? Because from 11 only we want no. So this we can subtract from the total. So here sum of n terms, here sum of n terms formula we should use. Here last term n is equal to 333. So you can apply 3 as it is. n into n plus 1 by 2 minus 3 as it is. Here 3 n is equal to 3. 3 into 3 plus 1 by 2. Now 3 into 333 into here 334 by 2 minus here 3 3 is a 9 9 into 3 plus 1 4 by 2 okay next here if you multiply you will get triple 9 into here this number by 2 means 167 minus here 2 1s are 2 2s are 9 2s are 18 so this this if you multiply this 2 you will get you will get this one minus 18 by 18 so if you subtract 18 from this number you will get this number okay 166850 you will get okay this is the 10th question last one i hope you understood thank you for more videos subscribe my channel bye have a nice day